I think we all realized independently, you know, so this is a show about six people who are best friends. And we just met yesterday at the table read. We have to, you know, let's, I don't know, we ended up just staying together. I think Jimmy had a director's room and he let us have his room. And we could hang out there while they're fixing things or doing things. And we did not leave each other's sides. So two people went to rehearse a scene, the other four were sitting in there. And, you know, Courtney also, and we played poker, we played poker, I think. Like just anything to like spend time together, bond, and you know, we're best friends. We're best friends. <laughs> and when we were on set, Courtney said some, see now I don't know if this was the pilot or when we were already starting. I can't remember now which was which. But I know, I thought it was important that Courtney had said, look, I did a guest star on Seinfeld, and can I just tell you one of the things, one of the reasons I think that show is so great is that they all sort of like help each other out. I mean, whether you want to call it giving notes, I know actors don't like getting notes from each other, but I don't care. Because if you've got something that you think is funny for me to do, I'm going to do it. You know, we got to all help each other. And I was like, how fantastic. It's like being in the Groundlings again then, where you get to tell someone, like, I think that's funny. What if you try doing it this way or that way? And, oh, this is great. Because you kind of needed permission from the one who was the most famous. Because it's very easy for Courtney to become, and the character was sort of the hub of the show. It was very easy for her to become, you know, like the Mary Tyler Moore, and we're all the supporting players around it. Um, and for her to, like, just put it out there like that, and also to say, I'd also, she also had said, like, I want you to know, I, I realized, you know, I was on a show before, Family Ties, you know, said, but this is an ensemble. So, you know, we're all, this is all of us. So we're, we have to work together. I, I thought it was just crucial for her to set that tone, because we were all gonna sort of follow it, in a way, you know? Well, or I'm just speaking for myself. <laughs> Maybe. But for me, it was, that was really a big deal and so smart. I mean, she, everything she did was so smart, I thought, for, the, for 10 years. Everything. Yes, it lasted for 10 years. For 10 years, I think we all, you know, in some ways, that was one of the best relationships that, well, certainly work-wise, you know, that anyone could have, but we really had to listen to each other, be very respectful of each other, keep each other in check. Um, you don't do anything or say anything sort of in public without checking in with the others. We learned that too along the way. Um, and if you do something that bothers someone else, they take care of it immediately. There's no stewing or talking behind someone's back. It was a very healthy relationship, I thought.